Yeah, a couple of days ago I was cruising through YouTube checking out some different videos and I got a notification for a, a video that uh, Mike Fulton from MF Woodshop did. And I clicked on it and started watching that video and I thought, man, this thing is really cool. He was making what he called a sine wave box. It had a really neat top to it. And most of, most of his video focused on making the top, but he, he did show the completed box uh, as well. But the whole time I was watching him make the top of that box, I kept thinking, man, I wonder if I could make that with a CNC. And if I could, I wonder if it would be uh, easier, faster, or whatever. I don't really know how long it took Mike, but it, I know uh, he, he made the, uh, the waves using uh, uh, his table saw. And I know there was a lot of sanding involved. <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to try uh, to run a top. I've got a piece of uh, rough sawn maple here that's a little thicker than what he used. Uh, so I'm going to start off and I'm going to surface this down to about three quarters. Uh, and then I'm going to run a program to make the top. So uh, I'm just curious just to see if I can do it. I got it drawn up um, in my 3D modeling software and brought it into VCar Pro and then put the uh, 3D tool path on it. So I think it's going to work. Uh, let's get started and we'll check it out. Okay, I finished cutting the uh, box top for the sine wave box uh, on the CNC here. It came out really nice. Uh, it's going to need maybe just a little bit of light sanding, but nothing like what uh, Mike had to deal with with the uh, doing this on a table saw. I don't know if these are the exact dimensions. Uh, what Mike used, uh, I just kind of, you know, watching the video, kind of guesstimated that uh, these he had six of these rows. They looked like they were about an inch uh, wide, so that would be six inches, quarter inch on each side uh, would be six and a half. And then I don't really remember what I think this is. I think it's uh, ten and a half inches this way. Like I said, I don't know if that's uh, the same size as uh, what he has, probably not, but anyway, I was just trying to get something close. Uh, if anybody wanting to know the um, cycle times, uh, the roughing pass, I used a quarter inch end mill for that, took right at a half hour, uh, actually about 27 minutes for the roughing pass. The finish pass, I uh, used a one eighth inch ball nose, and obviously that's what's going to take uh, the longest, I used like six thousandths. Uh, step over and that took about an hour and 45 minutes for that part and then I used a quarter inch end mill again to uh, to cut out the profile and that only took about five minutes so all together uh, what are we looking at uh, 215 a little over about two and a half hours rounded up I guess um, but it came out really nice. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to try this because when, when I saw Mike's video, I thought, man, that's kind of a cool looking top. So now that it uh, turned out this nice, I'm probably going to go ahead and, in another video, go ahead and build the rest of the box.
uh, and just build it to, to fit this size here. But uh, anyway, just wanted to, uh, like I said, I watched that video yesterday, or two days ago, and uh, really liked uh, the look of that box because when he started out uh, on a table saw, I never thought he'd get it to look in that good, and, and it turned out fantastic. So thank you, Mike Fulton, for uh, putting out that video and giving me some inspiration to try this on the CNC. Um, that was an excellent job, and uh, so thanks a lot. Uh, I guess that's going to do it for this one. Like I said, I'll, I'll finish up the box and uh, make that a separate video because I don't want to make this one too long. Um, the neat thing about this, uh, you know, like I said, it probably took a total of two, two hours, 15 minutes, two and a half, something like that, to do all this on the CNC. But the neat thing about this is the whole time this was running, especially the long finishing pass, I was out right out side the garage here doing something else so uh, able to multitask really makes it nice when you have a CNC for stuff like this because you get a long run you just hit the button let it go and uh, you can go do something else so that worked out great so until next time uh, I guess I'll talk to y'all later everybody have a good day and uh, we'll see you next time